Welcome to week 19, just 21 weeks to go. Your little bell pepper is growing to about the size of a mango this week. Your baby measures 9.5 inches or 24 centimeters long and weighs 9.6 ounces or 273 grams. You'll be happy to know that their little arms and legs are correctly proportioned. As their nervous system continues to mature, the neurons between the muscles and the brain connect, which gives your baby control over their movements, and their gums now have tooth buds in them. Another significant development this week is that your baby is getting covered in a protective coating called Vernix Cassiosa. This is a greasy, white, cheese-like substance that protects their sensitive baby skin from the amniotic fluid. This coating sheds as birth approaches, although some babies will still be covered with some vernix at birth, especially if they're born early. By week 19, you will have ideally gained between 8 and 14 pounds. Of this total weight, 6 ounces is the placenta, 11 ounces is the amniotic fluid, and 12 ounces total for both breasts. As long as you're eating healthy and getting some exercise, I wouldn't worry too much about weight gain. You may be noticing some changes to the pigment in your skin. A stripe down the center of your belly called a linea nigra might appear in the second trimester, and this will get darker as your pregnancy progresses. This is common, and it will fade after you have your baby. An increase in melanin production causes some expecting moms to get melasma. These are dark patches of skin. They usually appear on your forehead, your cheeks, your nose, or your upper lip. Sun exposure can make this more noticeable. So wear a hat or sunscreen or both to minimize the sun on your face. Informed consent is an essential component of communication between medical professionals and patients. Proper informed consent means that you fully understand the procedure, the intervention, or the treatment, that you know all of the risks and benefits, and that you have the choice to opt in or opt out. A significant challenge for providers to give proper informed consent is the time allocated for each appointment. Hopefully, this will be a bigger priority as we're seeing a shift to more patient-focused practices and more evidence-based care. A tip for dads and partners, go for a walk with your significant other. Walks are an excellent way to get in some activity, to breathe fresh air. Plus, this is an opportunity to talk about how you both feel and how you're preparing for all the changes ahead. And this doesn't have to be a power walk or an intense hike. You can grab a coffee or a tea and go for a stroll in your neighborhood. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your support.